Blessings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And welcome to this devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois. I am Pastor Timothy Kinney and I'm humbly honored to serve as your host for this devotional moment. The scripture reading for today comes from the 14th chapter of the Gospel according to St. John. These are some of the words of our Lord the night before he would give up his life for the life of the world. Jesus said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's. Who sent me? There is only one of two reasons why a person would obey another. One reason is out of fear, and the other reason is out of love. One might be afraid of the consequences of if the words are not obeyed. Still, on the other hand, a person who has love and respect for the other obediently follows the requests made out of that love. Jesus says, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. That means that in order to obediently keep the word of our Lord, one must know what that word says. And the only way one can know what the word says is if they read that word or have the word read to them and study the Holy Scriptures, the word of God. The Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. The Word of God is powerful and, in itself, can motivate the individual to follow the teachings of Jesus. You and I were called into a relationship with Jesus Christ when we were baptized. In the Word of God, connected to the water, the Holy Spirit entered you and me and made His dwelling in us, granting us the forgiveness of all our sins, delivering us from eternal death, and delivering us from the power of the devil. And that same Word of God not only gives us the teachings of Jesus, it empowers us to obey those teachings until the day that you and I are called home to eternal life in heaven. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, you have caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning. Grant that we may so hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by patience and comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Until next time, may you be blessed that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you love your Lord, you keep his holy word, and you obey the teachings of Jesus. And thank you for joining in this devotional moment.